Is your child interested in science and technology and you want to feed that passion? Are you wanting to get your children on the path to a high paying career that is only set to grow? These robots are the answer. First Lego League is a robotics competition and curriculum that will have your child laying the foundation to an excellent future. Stay with me to see the amazing things that you will create and how to get started. This video is for parents, students, and teachers that are looking to get started with robotics in an organized way. I'm Preston with Spectronics Learning Lab. We've been a robotics center for over three years helping students, schools, and families nationwide on their journey through robotics. We're going to show you the right robotics program for you, how to register for First Lego League, the best place to buy the materials, and what to do before your first session with learners. First Lego League introduces STEM to children ages 4 through 16 through fun, exciting, hands-on learning. Participants gain real-world problem-solving experiences through a guided, global robotics program using Lego, helping today's students, families, and educators build a better future together. First Lego League's three divisions inspire youth to experiment and grow their critical thinking, coding, and design skills, as well as showcase what they learned. Today, I'm focused on the divisions ideal for elementary through high school. These are answers to the most common questions that we get. Let's talk about the divisions and age breakdowns. In Explore, teams of students ages 6 through 10 focus on the fundamentals of engineering as they explore real-world problems, learn to design and code, and create unique solutions made with LEGO bricks and powered by LEGO Education Spike Essential. They focus on storytelling and learning the science of the topic for the season. There's a lot of freedom in what students are building and it culminates in a showcase where students share what they learned and the solution they created. The robotics kit that is used for this program is the LEGO Spike Essential Kit. Friendly competition is at the heart of challenge as teams of students ages 9 through 16 engage in research, problem solving, coding, and engineering building and programming a LEGO Education Spike Prime robot that navigates the missions of a robot game. They also participate in a research project to identify and solve a relevant real-world problem. When people discuss first LEGO League and see robots in competition, this is what they're referring to. This is perfect for upper elementary students through high school. I'm Preston with Spectronics Learning Lab, and today we're talking about first LEGO League. This is on top of your LEGO Spike Robotics Kits. This is an additional program that you can do with your students and often how many people discover robotics in the LEGO community, which this is called First LEGO League Explore. And then we also have ones for later elementary, like fourth grade, fifth grade, on into middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And that's gonna be your First LEGO League Challenge. We have all the supplies set up right here. You can start a robotics program for early elementary students using just this kit right here, Lego Spike Essential. You could do about 40 hours worth of lessons fairly straightforward and easily with just a Lego Spike Essential kit. No first Lego League required. Same thing for middle school. You could probably do a full year of curriculum for your middle school students with a Lego Spike Prime kit no expansion kit, no first LEGO League challenge materials, just the Spike Prime kit. That's what you need to start your robotics program. But if you're going to do first LEGO League, it involves these engineering notebooks. These are 12 weeks of material that change every year. And so if you've been doing a robotics program or want to jump all the way in, you can do First Lego League and you're going to get 12 weeks of curriculum on top of these robotics kits that you're going to have to have. If you're getting started in robotics as an early elementary school student and you're just an individual or maybe have one or two kids, I would just get the Spike Essential Kit. Skip First Lego League this year. Now, if you're a group of students that are in early elementary school and you want to dive all the way into robotics and the teamwork as well as challenges, by all means, get Spike Essential and First Lego League Explore. My advice is the same for our older students that are in late elementary school, middle school, and early high school. If you're an individual, start with just the Lego Spike Prime Kit. There's so much to do with robotics in just that kit. But if you're a group of students or a classroom wanting to get into teamwork, research, and challenges, 
then you should do Lego Spike Prime and First Lego League Challenge. So without further ado, I think we're gonna dive right into how you get signed up for First Lego League, where you should buy your materials from, and exactly how to get everything set up. If you're going to start with First Lego League and have never done a robotics program before, you want to go to the website firstinspires.org and click on register. This is the only website to get signed up to host a team or to join a team. So whether or not you're a parent or a student or a teacher with a classroom, you're going to go to firstinspires.org and fill out the registration forms. Once you've created your account, you can go to your dashboard. And if you have an explore team, you'll have your own team number. Or if you have a challenge team, you'll also have your own team number. But you click on your team, and then you can go down here to payment and product and order products and pay to register your team. You have to buy the first LEGO League challenge set or explore set on this website. You have the option to buy your robotics kit here as well. But if you're an individual or buying it with your own personal funds, I have another way that'll get you free Legos or at the very least Lego points. If you're buying this as an individual, I would go to lego.com, sign into your My Lego account, and then search for the spike kit that you want. If you're purchasing through this process, you'll at the very least get a free gift with your purchase if they're selling any, and you'll earn Lego VIP points that you can spend on other Legos. Now, if you're a school account, you typically have to go through that First Inspires dashboard or the Lego Education website. But if you're an individual buying this for your family or for a group of students that you're going to be overseeing, absolutely get your points or get your free Lego sets by ordering through lego.com with your Lego account. Now that you've registered for First Lego League and ordered your Lego Spike Robotics Kit, you're ready to get set up for your very first meeting with students. Before your first meeting with your students, you're going to want to unbox just about everything. And this is important to do no matter what age level you're working with. If you're working with Lego Spike Prime, you want to go ahead and unbox that and get your kit set up and go through the tutorial activities. If you're working with Lego Spike Essential, same thing. Un unbox it, get it set up, and go through the tutorial activities. And we have some other videos all about that that you can find on our channel. Once you start unboxing your challenge kit, you're going to have a huge mat that is gonna go on either a robotics table or onto the floor. Our first year of LEGO Robotics, we just used the floor and it was totally fine. We eventually built a robot table and it made things easier, but was a nice to have and not necessarily essential to have with our first year of LEGO Robotics. For your challenge kit, you're going to want to unbox and unbag lots of pieces. And then we're gonna to go to the first LEGO League resources website and start organizing our building materials. Before your first lesson with students, you wanna to go to this firstlegoleague.org slash season hashtag resources. And from here, you can download your guidebooks, your team meeting guide, and your engineering notebook. I recommend downloading all of those to keep them on your computer, and you can read those basically at any time. For First LEGO League Challenge, we're gonna be organizing our building materials so that our students are ready to build during session one. We go to Building Instructions and we'll click on Mission Building Instructions, we click View, and it's gonna show us all 13 models that we need to build. You can click on the PDF for any of these, and let's start with model five, and you'll see it will show you some loose pieces that don't come in numbered bags, as well as what numbered bag to use. I like to go through and make a Ziploc bag with all the loose pieces and the correct bags, and that way on session one, day one, I can give each student or group of students a bag to begin building, and they'll go to this website and follow the building instructions to build our mission models so that we can be using those models throughout the year. So in these 10 minutes, we've gone over and picked out the right robotics program for you. We've talked about getting registered, how to order and pay for your first LEGO League or your robotics kit, 
and let you know what you should do before your first meeting, which is absolutely practice with your robotics kits and begin the process of unboxing your materials to make sure you have everything and it's organized for your first session.